Hey guys, Sensor here, and welcome to another Shadowlands Alpha video. This time we're going to go over the Demon Hunter um, Covenant abilities. Uh, the Demon Hunter Covenant abilities are kind of interesting. They're definitely a little bit different than some of the other classes that I've seen. Uh, but first we're going to start with the Elysian Decree one. So Elysian Decree is the Kyrian ability. And what it does is it puts a sigil on the ground, or on the target location, um, and then it'll activate after two seconds. So basically it's another sigil uh, for people that are familiar with uh, the tank Demon Hunter. And it'll detonate dealing damage and shatters up to three um, lesser fragments from enemies. So this is, the, the fragments are good whether you're a tank or a DPS. And it's on a one minute cooldown. So it's just a, a nice little extra AoE. I'll go ahead and show it real quick. I need to get closer. If I don't die here. And then we'll just do this. So you see that? And then, yeah, all those fragments come out. So it's it's pretty nice. It's a pretty cool animation. Um, very useful. Uh, no matter what demon hunter you are. So just, just an all-around great ability. Alright, so the Night Fae have a pretty cool single target ability called the Hunt. And it'll mark the target um, for one minute on a three minute cooldown. And it increases the fury that your demons bite um, does against them by 50%. And it lets you teleport back to them um, once every 30 seconds. So basically you do it twice. As you see, I'm backing up and then I can just press it again and it teleports to them. Um, so this is pretty good for definitely single target ability. And... Being able to generate more fury can definitely mean like more chaos strikes, for instance. Uh, but it is a long cooldown, so I, I don't know. This is one of those where you have to, in practice, you know, numbers and stuff, you'd have to try and figure out. Because even though it does seem like a pretty decent single target ability, it is on a long cooldown. Alright, so the Necrolord ability for the Demon Hunters is a pretty interesting one, and so far is one of the most unique that I've seen. It's called Father to the Flame, and it's on a two minute cooldown. Now what this does is it actually summons an enemy for you to fight. It says commission a duel to the death against a condemned demon. So what this means is when you use this ability, it'll summon a random demon to come out, and after you kill it, it drops a pool on the ground. And when you stand in that pool, it increases your attack speed by 20% and reduces the damage that enemies do to you by 10%. It also has synergy with Fleshcraft, which the enemy that you kill counts as a powerful enemy to get you a nice um, absorb shield from using Fleshcraft. So, you know, you can summon the demon, kill it, get an absorb shield, and while you're in there, enemies will be doing, you know, less damage to you. So it's pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So as you can see, this demon comes out in Inferno, and I actually did this twice, and it was a different demon, so it seems kind of random. But yeah, it doesn't, they don't just die like really quick, you actually have to fight them. But yeah, now you see that it's, I'm in a pool, and then it increases uh, attack speed. And if there were enemies there, then they'd be doing less damage to me as well. So, it's, um... Yeah, it's definitely a very different type of ability. I can't say that it's very practical. Uh, this is this is an ability, since we can only test it currently in Torghast, this is definitely one of those abilities where I would very be very interested in seeing it in, like, instanced combat. Because in the open world, you know, it's it's fine. You know, you, you summon another enemy, it's whatever. But it's also a pool on the ground. So you, you, it only it's only going to work if you're fighting in that area. So if you pull a big group of enemies, then yes, that can be kind of helpful. And I, I'm, I can definitely see it being helpful in Dungeons and Raids as well, depending on how hard that enemy is. Um, this enemy, just it just seemed to be a regular enemy. It didn't seem like it was doing anything special, but it still took a little bit of time to kill. And especially when you're doing high level content, you know, adding an extra enemy in there may not be very good. But if the benefits that you get are worth it and it doesn't take too long, you know, that's why I said it's it's one of those where I can't really see myself picking this ability, but it can be good depending on the situation. Alright, so the Demon Hunter Venthyr ability is called Sinful Brand. 
and it has a 30 yard range with a one minute cooldown and it basically it marks the enemy and reducing their melee and casting speed by 30 percent and then it does a pretty high amount of shadow damage over eight seconds another cool thing about this ability is activating metamorphosis will apply sinful brand to all enemies and when you do that it doesn't actually use the cooldown and it does that does not work with demonic though Um, so like with Demonic, when you use I-Beam, you go into d Demon Form. Um, that specifically says Demon Form and not Metamorphosis. So if you use I-Beam and then Transform, it won't put Sinful Brand on there. But if you use Metamorphosis, wherever you land, they'll get the Sinful Brand um, debuff on them. So I'm going to go ahead and show that right now. See they have the Sinful Brand debuff, Suffering Damage. So it's pretty good damage, um, and, they, and they they have that red mark on them, as you can see. So does you know does really good damage, and uh, it's it's really nice because this is an ability that's like by itself it's mostly single target, um, but whenever you have metamorphosis up, it changes into an AOE. Like being able to put Sinful Brand on all enemies, that's a huge AOE burst for a demon hunter. You know, go into a big AoE fight or a big AoE pack, Metamorphosis, everything's got Sinful Brand on them. So they're all taking huge amount of damage and also reducing their, you know, melee and casting speeds. And on top of that, it's not on cooldown. So then you can just use it on like a single target afterwards. So I actually think Sinful Brand is probably one of the best, if not the best, um, Covenant abilities for Demon Hunter. So it, it kind of depends, like for me, personally I think that Sinful Brand and the Kyrian one, um, Elysian Decree, are probably the best two. Of course, when we see the rest of like the Soul Mines and everything, uh, Legendaries, that'll kind of change, but in terms of just usefulness of the abilities alone, Sinful Brand and Legion Decree are definitely nice. Legion Decree is good because of the resource that you can get from getting um, the fragments, soul fragments, and it is always an AoE ability. Whereas Sinful Brand is a really strong single target ability, great for both tank and DPS because lowering their you know attack and speed and casting speed is like a curse of tongues, but for demon hunters, uh, I'm sure some warlocks would probably be a little upset about that, but and then turn it into an AoE ability. So it's got some, you know, pretty good potential there. Um, but yeah, Sinful Brain, really good. Now that's all for the Demon Hunter Covenant abilities. If you like the video, please give a like and subscribe for future videos. I'm going through all of the Covenant abilities, and then I'm going to continue doing my um, melee class first looks, and I definitely plan on revisiting these once we have the full picture. So... As always, thanks for watching.